Hi, this is Dr. Melissa Grohls coming to you again from Rock Creek Spine. We had some additional questions come in on other exercises that our patients can do as we are closed this week for chiropractic care. We did discuss in the first video doing some very gentle um, extension and flexion exercises for the lumbar spine and people said that's fantastic. Can I do a little bit more? The next step up would be to come onto all fours and hold a tabletop position, very gently drawing your belly button up as you arch your spine. Again, not going into pain, but just getting a gentle stretch and then dropping the belly down and going into a very gentle extension as well. Again, do not go into pain. This is just about movement. When you have an irritated disc in your spine, it tends to swell. And when you're not moving and you're sitting at the computer for long periods of time, that causes additional swelling. So just this gentle pumping motion back and forth to draw inflammation out of your spine would be good. Another good idea is to stretch the piriformis. If you wanna sit with your feet in front of you, keep your feet flat, cross your left ankle over your right knee and just sit up tall until you get a stretch in the back of your pelvis. Um, try not to wiggle and jiggle and, and bounce in and out. That can actually tighten the muscle. You just wanna go to a place where you feel a little bit of a stretch and then breathe into that stretch and just feel it start to melt. It's gonna kind of be like snow melting in the sun. It's slow, that's okay. Breathe through it. And then very gently just switching to the other side. Same thing, really slow, just breathing into the tightness in the back of your pelvis and relaxing into that stretch would be the most effective way to open that muscle up. Um, if you have additional questions, email us at rockcreekspine at gmail.com. Again, we are monitoring that email and we are here to help you out.